Some of y'all been on roller coasters. You know how it is. First time, you're holding on tight, gritting your teeth on. Second time, you might loosen up a little bit. Third time, you throw your hands in the air. Fourth, fifth time, you're on the phone like, yeah, I'm on a roller coaster. <laughs> yeah, I ain't nothing going down. Hold on, here come the loop. Yeah, you know. I'll probably ride this joint one more time and I'm out of here. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's nothing. There's nothing. But the first time, what? You stood on the line for two hours in the grueling heat, waiting to get on the roller coaster. Straight up, you haven't even ate. Your stomach growling, probably done missed us a lot. Waiting to get on the roller coaster. But after a while, you realize it wasn't worth missing us a lot. It wasn't worth putting off a meal. It wasn't worth those things. You understand what I'm getting? And that's how it affected me. That's how it started to affect me. I started to realize, listen, this is just a call. Probably the guy in the Fiat, he's going to get to his destination before me. You know, the chain, people are only talking to the chain. They don't even talk to me. I had people used to run up on me like, yo, I heard. They just grabbed your arm like, yo, I heard you. Like, you didn't even ask me how I'm doing. You know, I was sick last week. You know that, right? It's not a concern of yours. You're more interested in how I'm upgrading in this so-called value of, you know, but you don't even care about me. And that's when I started to have my detachment with people. And that's why I told you it was a fair trade to let that go to have brothers, to have sisters. It's better for me. My brothers and sisters in Islam, they want good for me. I want good for them. You understand? I see my brother in Islam doing something wrong, I'm going to advise him. I'm going to pull him to the side, I'm going to advise him. I'm not going to make a spectacle out of him. I'm going to pull him to the side, and I'm going to advise him. Like, Aki, you could be nullifying your good deeds. What you're doing right now, you're destroying your good deeds. Like, you don't want to do that. We don't want to stand before Allah to Allah. All of our good deeds being destroyed, even though our intentions are sincere. Nah, we don't want to do that. Nah, you're right, brother, man. Come in and I will hope my brother do the same for me. Aid me. You know, it was a statement by Abu Bakr. Radiallahu an, the best of creation after the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said, I am no better than any of you. If I was to do that which is correct, then aid me. And if I was to do that which is an error, rectify me. This is the humbleness. This is the humbleness of the Sahaba. And that's why it's incumbent upon all of us to follow their way. Follow the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Follow the Sahaba. These are men of virtue. These are my heroes. 